What the hell is that? What does that do? I don't get it. It's 6.45. I got up at, uh, I went to bed last night at 5.15 to 5.30. I got up today at 11, and uh, just now, I have finished a good bit of what I wanted to do today. Um, obviously, I didn't get my leaves done. No time to do that, it's getting cold and it's dark. I mowed over there across the street. I actually just finished that. So you can consider that yard all done. Actually, it looks pretty good. Didn't take off a whole lot of grass, mostly leaves. That's done. I've been trying to, f to get my parking brake to work for hours. It hasn't worked in months. Um, from noon until about probably uh, five, I worked on this. This is the corner, this is the problem area back here. All right, so one, I jack it up, right? That's not too bad. Pull the wheel off, take the caliper out of the caliper carrier, take the caliper carrier off. Pull the rotor off. The rotor's held on by a six millimeter Allen. On Kenan's car, we stripped it. On mine, I hit it with PB blaster, and uh, I had to get some PB blaster, and now that works. Uh, I was able to get it off without stripping it. So of course, to get the bottom bolt on the, the caliper carrier off, my H-arm's in the way, because you know, it's up at an angle like this. As you jack the car up, the strut pushes through a spring and the wheels strut, put, put, push the wheel down to the floor. So, I had to get my jack, jack it up some more, put a jack stand under the differential down there so I can get my jack free and then jack this up like all the way so then the H-arm's like, you know, freaking perpendicular, parallel to the ground. Oh, it was hell. Five hours sitting down here and then I get everything apart. I take the shoes off. The brake shoes look pretty much new. They're fine. Um, I think the problem, the problem's the Bowden cable. You go in the car and you pull the handle and it doesn't even move the cable down here. So the cable, and it's tightened up in the car and everything. Somewhere between here and the cable inside, the handle inside, it's broken. And it looks like it goes under the exhaust, under the transmission, up under the floor of the car. Oh, it's gonna be hell to have that fixed. Uh, with that one disconnected, I came over here and played with this one, actually from the handle in the car. And I can get this, this parking brake here to hold a little bit. So at least now I'll have something in parking spots to hold the car instead of the transmission. So I guess that's better than before, but I am not looking forward to the day when I have to figure out how to fix that cable. Also, last night, did research until five in the morning to figure out what that thing is under my front driver's side fender liner. Uh, it is not the DSC pre-charge pump, it's the DSC uh, compressor. It's the DSC compressor up here. So I found the bracket, I found the part number for the bracket, and I emailed my parts guy at Dave Walter BMW with the part number. And I said, I need one of these, how much? And he says, well that part is for a 540. And that part number, that part costs $16. The part you want, the only difference is the bolt pattern. They moved it over a little bit on the M5 instead of the 540. $16 to 106. It's $90 more. They move the freaking bolts around, it's $90 more. That's dick. So I think that's gonna wait. I don't feel like spending $116 on that. Oh, pain in the ass. Absolute pain in the ass. $116 for a little bracket that holds my horn. It's a piece of metal about like this big. Dicked. Anyways, I am very tired and very hungry. I'm gonna go inside and get something to eat and sit down and do some YouTube and do some TV because it's getting cold out here. And I don't like that kind. Watch you with the lights off. <laughs> like I would dare. You're getting dead in real life? Well, I heard it's good. Yeah, I can. Hello. Um, the joke of being it is a little dark. Yeah, but he's there. 11.25. It is 11.30. We're oh watching uh, Roadhouse. Family Guy. Oh, no. Roadhouse. Damn it. Good morning and welcome. It's 2.26 in the morning. Um, Kenan came over briefly. We just watched a little bit of Family Guy. Um, then he left and I went to work for like two hours. I did not realize it was so long. But out here in the garage and up in the attic, cleaning stuff out. Today was Friday, that's trash day. So this thing was empty <clears throat> this morning. It's not all styrofoam, that just happened to be what I did last. I threw away so much crap 
from up there. And mom, I'm sorry, but it was right next to your bedroom wall up there. You probably heard all kinds of shit coming down. I threw all the stuff down here. I gotta clean this up now tomorrow. But we got rid of a lot of stuff up there and put it where it goes. So keep doing that and we'll have that nice and clean up there. I'll take a camera up there sometime. Um, yeah, going over to the grandparents' house tomorrow, so I need to wrap up, take a shower. Today's been a, a pretty good day. I did a lot of stuff that I've been putting off for a while today, so that's good. I'm gonna edit this together. It's gonna be it. I'll talk to you guys on Saturday. Hope you're having a good weekend so far. Good night.